हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्कॉलर हेड सी शार्प एंड डॉट नेट वर्क शो सो दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू सेट अप द मशीन सो दैट यू कैन डू द हैंड सोन इन दिस वर्क शो सो टू गेट स्टार्टेड विद दिस वर्क शो यू नीड टू इंस्टॉल फ्यू सॉफ्टवेयर इन योर मशीन सो वी आर गोइंग टू यू द वी एस कोड एज एन आई डी फॉर राइटिंग आर कोड इन द सी शार्प लैंग्वेज एंड फॉर रनिंग आर सी शार्प कोड वी नीड द डॉट नेट एस डी के सो डॉट नेट एस डी के आल्सो वी हैव टू इंस्टॉल but from where we can download all the necessary tools so you can download all the necessary tool from the vijayastudio.com website so this is the link i will share along with the video so from this link if you will go through there is a option available to download a .net coding pack for the window based machine they having the .net coding pack for the mac os if you having the mac machine so you just click on the respective button what are the os you having so in my case i'm having the window machine i'm clicking on it it will download an exe that exe you have to just open by doing the double click and when you will click on this exe it will open a wizard that wizard you have to follow and whenever you are following the steps in this wizard behind the scene it will download the dot net sdk it will download the vs code so these files are in mp so depending upon your internet speed it will take the time in your case it might be taking 5 to 10 minutes of time i'm just guessing the minutes of course everything will be decided based upon your internet connectivity and the speed so just follow this wizard to install all the things here So you can see it installing the .NET SDK, .NET extension pack, and the Visual Studio Code. In my case, I have installed everything. So that's why it has done very soon. But I'm sure in your case, it will take time. Now the question is here: How we can verify the .NET install on my machine or not? For this one, you have to open a command prompt. Open the command prompt here, and here just run a command .NET. space dash version so when you will run this command it will let you know which version of dot net you have installed on your machine it can be dot net 6 it can be dot net 7 it can be dot net 8 depending upon what sdk it is installing at that moment so right now we having the dot net 7 as a latest version so it is coming dot net 7 uh, after some time dot net 8 will release so it will show the dot net 8 also So now .NET SDK is installed successfully in my local machine. Now I need to create a .NET console application. So to create a .NET console application, I can create it using the command prompt. So first of all, go inside a drive, let's say C drive, D drive, whatever you are willing to go, and there create a folder with the name of let's say code I'm creating. The folder name can be anything in your case. Let's say I'm creating a folder with the name of code. md code make directory code this is the command explanation so in my case i have already created the code folder so i'm not creating it i'm just going into that folder cd code here now in this code folder i'm going to create a c sharp console application with the help of dot net cli so just run the command dot net new dot net new is a command then we having the project type is console then define the project name so project name is let's say my console app and today we have let's say 26 september so this is the way name i have given even you can use the short cut name as well it's not the case to mention this one i can mention let's say my cs app that is also fine now just enter it it will create a console application using the dot net cli now i can open this my cs app using the vs code so now open the vs code to run the code i'm opening my vs code and here i'm just using the file menu and open that folder so it is in c drive this is my code then we have being the my cs app this is the project i have created i'm opening it so don't save it and here you will find out there is a program.cs file containing the hello world message so now this program i can run using the .net cli 
so to run it using the rotnet CLI you have to use the terminal option terminal and new terminal and I request to everyone please run your code using the dotnet terminal itself don't try to run using this run button because in many machine what happens the SDK node set up properly or you might having the permission issue so this run button will not work for you so better to run it yourself with the alphab command same thing i'm doing here i'm not using this run button i'm going to run through the terminal and make sure whenever you're opening the terminal the terminal is using the command prompt not using the powershell because on the window machine by default the vs code will open the powershell so how we can change the terminal so terminal we can change from here so by default you will get this powershell but in my case i already set up the command prompt as a default terminal so it is always opening the command prompt in my case but in your case it always open the powershell so from here you can change the default terminal from powershell to command prompt there is option available select default profile now select the terminal which you want to open every time whenever you are using this terminal menu to open the terminal so from here just select the command prompt to make command prompt as a default terminal in vs code so this is the way we can set the default terminal now so now when you will click on the plus icon it automatically open always in the command prompt here now we set up the command prompt now we need to run our application so to run the application just run the command dot net run is a command so dot net run command first build the code if we have any error it will stop at that moment if you don't have any error it will give us the output so in my case i don't have any error it is giving the output hello what so this is the way you can verify my environment has been set up everything is working fine here if some people are facing the issues some people are facing the challenges so it might be with respect to the permission you might not be logged in as an administrator you might be opening the vs code as a user mode so make sure whenever you're opening the vs code you are opening using the administrator mode so i'm just showing the way how you can open the vs code just click over there vs code and do right click and here always you have to select the option run as administrator so this option you have to always use to open the visual studio code as an administrator so that the command prompt of this instance also in admin mode so what are the command you are running here they will run fine if let's say you are getting the error dot net is not an internal and external command it means the dot net sdk is not set up on a local machine so please set up the dot net sdk first and if by the way you have opened that uh, the terminal already let's say command prompt already so please close it because terminal read the things from the cache so whenever you are installing the sdk it is going to set a environment path at the machine level and to run anything from the terminal that environment path need to set up at the machine level then then only we can run it i hope this video will help you to set up your machine for this workshop so thank you for watching this video and see you in the workshop where you will learn by doing the things thank you bye